When we talk about housing crisis, we tend to say that's the housing crisis and that's the solution to the housing crisis. But actually, both of these are the s different uh, articulations of the same housing crisis. It's just that one is being articulated, experienced as debt, which is what we're experiencing in the UK. E economically dead neighbourhoods, massively indebted residents in those neighbourhoods, and very poor quality development. And on the right, something completely different. But the twist to this plot is that actually these were designed and procured as property, as things to sell. Whereas these places, although to some extent that was true, a lot of it is actually designed and procured as places to live and work. The problem is this, which is that fundamentally our industrial economy, the tools that we had available, said to us that we could have infrastructure over here, but there's no way of doing infrastructure over here. We can have planning tools and, and legal institutions over here, but we can't have them over there. So behind this is this fundamental assumption about our industrial economy and the way that we produce things and the way we design things. And it basically works, stepping outside of architecture, in a pretty similar uh, fundamental way, which is where a designer is a priest, probably in London or New York, wearing a roll neck jumper behind a drawing board or, a, or an Apple Mac. And they produce a design and then they protect it. They copyright it and then they send that recipe all the way around the world um, to the where you can find the cheapest possible labour um, where they make an object and they ship it all the way back again. Um, this is why we love this fantastic John Maynard Keynes quote, we think it's him, which is, it's easier to ship recipes than cakes and biscuits, because that's not how we do things. This is what most of the design economy is basically built on. And at the end of it, um, you need a credit card, again, more debt to buy it on. So that begins, is suddenly beginning to break. There's a series of things happening that mean that that's no longer the case. The first one is this one. Suddenly, the web is making it possible to share information, and information wants to be free. So, lo and behold,